Loop Motion is a feature that can drastically improve your animations, making them look more natural and dynamic. It does that by having the animation move your character instead of a script. This allows you to get correct fit positions while walking and running, as well as have precise movement beef attacks. With no root motion, your character stays in place, and you have to manually move them using code. Attack animations can be especially challenging sometimes, and it can take quite a bit of fine-tuning to get them look good and natural. Having a speed that is too fast or too slow will make your character's feet slide instead of walking naturally on the ground. To get root motion working correctly, there are a few important options you need to understand. Root motion is typically made with humanoid rigs, and understanding these three important sections in your animation import settings is crucial. This will be used to tell how the root motion will influence your object's rotation, height, and movement. We want the forward animation to maintain a consistent direction. Right now, even though the animation is moving forward, the root motion is constantly rotating left and right. And this can cause some unpredictable results, such as unintentionally moving the player's facing direction when stopping animation midway. Selecting the baking pose option will tell the animation to ignore the movement type. You can also see in the preview window the object now stops rotating, as indicated by the small blue arrow. To enable root motion, simply select Apply root motion checkbox inside your animator. Now, the animation will move the player without any code. However, if you want to have your animator as a child object, root motion won't work quite right yet, as it only moves the object with a emitter component. To fix this, we'll create a simple script to handle the root motion. Create the on animator move method, and this will tell the animator that we will take care of how the root motion affects the objects ourselves. We need a reference for our animator and the parent object's rigid body for us to move. Inside on animator move, we can apply root motion by using the animator's delta position and delta rotation. We will use them to move our rigid body object by calling move position and move rotation. After attaching the script to the object with the animator, set up the reference for the rigid body and you are good to go. Notice that now the animator's apply root motion area shows controlled by script, meaning it's working. With this approach, you can now utilize the root motion from a child object to improve your animations. I made a simple player script to help switch between root motion and normal animations here. Just in case, here's the code. It sends the speed value for the animator, which is then used to blend the walking and running animations together, with a blend tree that blends walking and running animations. And to use it without root motion, we can enable apply speed from script, so that the script will move the object. And that's it! With a simple script, you can now use root motion from child objects to get a more natural movement and improve your animations in-game. I hope this was helpful, thanks for watching, and until next time!